Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I would love to actually chit chat while I'm driving, but unfortunately I do not have a camera mount. I only have a phone mount, so it's just too dangerous. But um, I actually thought that I would, I guess, bring out the Bob Ross in me and try to see if I can recreate a painting that I saw online. Guys, I've never done this before. So, um, the outcome will be a mystery to the both of us. Honestly, it's a very simple painting. Obviously, honestly, it's just like, um, basically think of it as ombre. I'm trying to go from really light blue to like a dark blue. So it's just lines. And I originally placed orders on Amazon, but I don't know if it's just me, but I, I my packages have been getting lost and, um, they're not coming as quickly as they are supposed to. So I ended up getting the paint from Amazon and that came in fairly quick, but then I ordered a brush on Amazon and it was supposed to come, I think it was like Saturday morning and I was going to film all this for you guys and have it edit and upload it for Tuesday. And now here we are Monday and now it's telling me that the brush is not supposed to come till the 15th, um, which is like mm, towards the end of the week. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to do like a like finished project of how it's going to come, but I'm going to try to get as far as I can tonight with it now that I'm off work and we are at Michael to try to find a brush. I ended up buying, um, basically it's just watercolor paint is what I'm doing. Should, should tell you guys what I'm doing. So I ordered the paint on Amazon. I ended up picking up the watercolor paper from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was on sale, it was like 20 bucks for a huge pack of it. And I actually got 18 by 24 because then what I wanna do is put it in like a very large frame. I already have the frame picked out. Um, I just have to do a little DIY project with it. So that's where I'm saying like you guys won't see that part. So let's um, try to jump into Michael's. Hopefully we can find what I am looking for and then uh, see what the heck happens. So yeah, let's get going. <laughs> So vlogging while I was in there was a complete and total bust. I'm not even kidding. Every single aisle I went down, there was someone in down the aisle. Someone down the aisle. So I'm not about to whip out this, in my opinion, giant ass camera and start filming. Uh, if I had someone with me, I probably wouldn't care. But when you're like solo and going out in public, you're kind of like the weirdo. But anywho, I ended up finding the brush. Uh, expensive as all get out. It was 20 bucks which sucks because the one on Amazon was like 14 and this has like a little bit of a loose handle. So it should do, I don't know what I'm doing, but this was level three of classified as a watercolor brush. So anywho, people are getting out of their car, getting in their car all around me. I keep chopping off my face. Let's get the hell home and uh, start this project. Oh, also I bought something else, which I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. I'm so excited. Cannot wait to show you. Okay, so I told you I ended up picking up something else and I am so excited to show you guys. Look, so I've been looking for a wreath for the summer, but shockingly all that they freaking have now are like fall wreaths. So I got one on sale because that's how I roll. So this is actually a wreath that I ended up making on um, Pinterest. It was all Dollar Tree stuff. And this is what it looks like currently. I mean, it's a little boring and basic, but guys, I made it myself. So there that is. And so then I'm gonna replace that one with my new beautiful one. And I'm look how beautiful that is. Look. So get this, guys, it was originally, here you go, proof, right there, oh, right there, a hundred bucks. Come on, focus, there we go, a hundred bucks. I got it for 30, $30, that is a hell of a deal. Home sweet home, that is right. All right, I'm gonna cook dinner and then we're gonna get to Bob Ross. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to film when I can, but there's a really bad storm out there and a lot of lightning and the dog is scared. 
So more than likely, I'll probably just create just a um, time lapse kind of what I'm doing. But I want to show you guys the image that I'm mocking up. This is basically what I found. And I'm going to try to recreate this one first. So that is what we are attempting right now. And basically what I want to do is do those three paintings and then put them along this wall right here. So I ended up picking up my paper at, like I mentioned, Hobby Lobby. This is an 18 by 24. This is my brush. And then these are the, um, the paints that I ended up picking up. So these are all the paints. This is the, the brand right here. So it was just recommended. I kind of wanted this just because I was doing it on such a large surface. So I didn't want to get like the little round um, painting samples. So yeah. That is what we are attempting, so let's begin. So here is what I have at this exact moment. Personally, I actually don't think that it's too bad. This is a little too light and I realized that I wasn't using enough water, which is why if you look kind of close, it looks very splotchy versus the other ones. It started to get better and better and best is right here. I actually really like this color, which is I think the darkest blue I have, which is that one and just a dab of white. So it's kind of my little setup I have. I have a little tray here and then I have my waters. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, start over, but kind of like the, the concept that I'm going for here, like I said, show you guys my inspo picture kind of side by side so you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to do over here. So not horrible. Pretty, pretty happy with it. Yes, I did that on purpose. I was trying to match the little dot, but I have to figure out something else so it doesn't look like I made a mistake. Here's what I have as my second one that I've completed. I actually like how these are gapped. I don't like how these are gapped. I wish I either went um, closer or thick, probably thicker, so therefore they would have been closer. I really like the way that these two are sitting pretty close, and I actually like the way this color came out. Basically, I used this really dark one, again, and black. Ended up tossing in a little bit of black. And that's how I got that really dark color. Um, so, yeah. It's getting better, guys. Definitely better. The best thing to use is little paint and lots of water in order to get that nice, smooth look. So All right. So, obviously, I'm not even done with the project. I still have about two other more paintings to complete. But like I mentioned, it was really just kind of like a, a starter uh, for beginners, just trying to step outside my box, trying to do something. Because if I purchased these specific paintings, they were pretty cheap on like Etsy, but then to get them printed off in the size I wanted, that's where it just got really expensive. And I thought, you know what? They're just lines, like they're just colored lines. Give it a shot. I can sometimes feel like I can be crafty. 
So I'm not trying to be too hard on myself because obviously these are just simple. And then once they, I think once they're like they're in a frame and up on the wall, I think it'll look really good. And then they'll be one of a kind. So I'm going to continue practicing maybe in an upcoming vlog. Um, once it's all said and done, I'll show you guys a finished project. So yeah, let's just kind of stop there. I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you could, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.